Hi everybody, I'm Richard Owen and welcome to Monterey. This is the first Monterey vlog. I just flew into San Francisco International, went over the Olympic Mountains, had a great view, came into SFO and now I'm here in Aptos. And I'm gonna make my way to Monterey today and I'm gonna start car week. Yeah, so this is my 18th year going to Monterey. It's kind of overwhelming. You get, there's so many cars and so many great people and so many events. It's gotten so big year after year that now you can't really do it all. So I'm just gonna do a couple events. I'll take you along with me. We're gonna do some of the best. We have the Quail, we have Pebble Beach, we have the Gooding Auction, we have the RM Auction. I'll show you all that stuff. I'll take you along, I'll show you all the good stuff. And yeah, so without further ado, I'm gonna drive down to Monterey. I'm gonna meet up with my good friend Godfrey. He's a Ferrari fan, so hopefully he can let us, give us some insight on the Ferraris that are down there. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. I haven't seen a supercar yet. I'm still up here in Aptos, just at the Starbucks, about to enjoy my morning coffee, and uh, really excited to see some really exotic machinery that I don't normally see in Victoria. Okay, come along with the ride. Let's go see what's down there. Yeah, just made it down the 17 mile drive on our way to Gooding. Classic cars abound. Got a photo shoot going on there. Perfect spot for a classic car photo shoot. Here's China Rock. Love shooting cars around China Rock. Okay, let's go to Gooding. We're headed to Gooding. Uh Yeah, really nice spot on 17 mile drive here, going through the old pines, right on the coast. Uh, really picturesque, lovely. Great way to enter Pebble Beach, probably the best way to enter Pebble Beach. Yeah, look at this. We're a little early for Gooding, so we're gonna check out the Pebble Beach truck trailer parking lot. Uh, there's usually some good stuff kicking around here. We already spotted a nice Ferrari. Let's go check it out. Oh, and this is Godfrey. Hi, Godfrey. Hi. Yeah, look what we found here. Uh, Robert Lee's Buono Ferrari. Isn't this special? I've never seen this car. Godfrey, me and Godfrey were figuring it's the 410 Super America because I can see the 250 up in the intercity truck there. Wow, look at this. Holy smokes. Look at that front bumper. Look at the size of the brake. Whoa, what a beauty. I'm digging this. Yeah, welcome to Monterey. First car I see, beautiful. Geez, it's been a pretty good morning so far. So the Ferraris, got some more treasures here unloading. Oh, there's David Burton. Good morning, my man. Good morning. Good morning. morning. I got a 300 SL here just unloading. Yeah. Oh, so, there's some sort of Thomas Flyer there in the background. <laughs> oh, here it comes. Got two nice Devons here. Looking good. Probably Porsche powered or VW powered, I'm gonna guess. Corvair. Corvair powered, there you go. <laughs> Jesus. If you guys come to the Quail on Friday, we're gonna have eight of the original Devon C's there. Oh, right on. Now, this is car number one. Car number wow. one. This is the prototype. Uh, it ran in the uh, LA Times Grand Prix, Pikes Peak. Uh, yeah, that gentleman said there's Devon number one. Yeah, nice set there. Yeah, here's Mr. Grundy. He's taking out his Thomas Flyer. Wow, look at that. Yeah, doesn't this just melt your heart? An alloy body, the 275 GTB. Wow. Oh yeah, 
you wish you were here today. Here it comes I unloaded a California stuck. Spider yeah. next to a Competition 275. Yeah, it's exciting to see what comes out of these trailers. Look at that though. Wow. Okay, finally, we were detoured quite a bit with some absolutely amazing Ferraris, but uh, here's Gooding and Company this year. Uh, got some, uh, some interesting stuff outside, more eclectic stuff that they have for sale, but the real money's inside. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to their presentation. I think there's a 917 for sale this year by Gooding. Yeah, so this is all going to be very exciting. What we're going to do is register, say hi, and uh, then we'll do a, slight, a quick tour of what's inside. Right on. Looking forward to this. Right on. Just got into Gooding and presented with this beautiful Ferrari Competition 275. Stunning display here with Gooding. If I pull back, you can see the chandelier. And yeah, this is really an amazing car and an amazing display. Okay, let's see what this main area looks like. Wow, look at that Mercedes. Holy smokes. Look at this room. Yeah, lots to see. So yeah, we'll go through and find a few highlight cars right on. But this Mercedes, holy smokes. Man, look at that. Right on, I don't know a whole lot about Mercedes, but this is called the S-Type, big engine. And this one has a one of glasser body. Looks really striking in the bumblebee colors. Well, let's just have a closer look at this Mercedes. Has a turn dashboard, huge wooden wheel. Yeah, pretty impressive looking. Love the cockpit rail. Beautiful. Okay, here we are, lot 44 at the Gooding Auction. It's a Porsche 917K. And this is a kind of a unique thing because this is the first time a 917 is really gonna be offered at public auction. I don't think this one has a great race history. It was more used as a test car by Porsche. But man, look at that. Uh, pretty much the ultimate sports racer. Highly dangerous. Uh, yeah, I'd love to take that down the Pacific Coast. Right, okay, I'm a British car guy and uh, these two really hit the, hit the bill. This Aston Martin with this crazy Bertone body and a beautiful 4.2 E-Type. Look at that. Nice row here beside them too. Okay, here we are, two unrestored SLs, the Coupe and the Roadster from the same collection. Yeah, I think if I was bidding, I'd have to get them both. Definitely. Let's have a closer look at the Roadster here. Those photos. Yeah, very cool, very original cars. Yeah, really unique opportunity to get a restorable car. Beautiful. Wow, look at this. Uh, at the auction, you get another sports prototype. It's an Alfa Romeo Tipo 33. I think it's a turbo car too. And the engine's sitting over there, so why not go have a look? So it's a V, it's not a V, it's a flat 12 engine. Wow, look at that. Injected, holy smokes. Yes, this is a 1974 Alfa Romeo Tipo 33 TT12. So it's a twin turbo flat 12 engine. Holy smokes. And uh, according to the car, it says it was driven by Derek Bell and Henry Pescarolo, but they spelled Derek wrong. Uh, guess he can't get everything right. Everybody makes mistakes. Wow, look at this. Just found the Jaguar XK120 Pininfarina Coupe. Never seen this before. Isn't that stunning? Wonderful. Who's around it? Look at the interior here. This level. It's a one up body by Pin and Farina on a Jag chassis. Whoa, look at that. Alright, just finished lunch back at the Pebble Beach truck 
area and look at this a beautiful Delahaye chaperone coupe two-tone yeah wow isn't that stunning look how the color of the blue just pops in the sun it's just so inviting you got to take a closer look wow look at this hello so right hand drive a lot of bake light in there stunning stunning uh, there's some more stuff down the way there. Let's go have a look. Okay, so me and Godfrey are going up to this collection of cars. There's something yellow and black hiding behind there. What do you think it is? A Europa. You think it's a Europa? Oh, wait a minute. What do we got? Yeah. It's going to be... What is that? An Alfa. What is that? Yeah, an Alfa Romeo. An Alfa Romeo. What? Yeah. Holy smokes. It's a bueno. Seems to be a lot of buenos today. Oh, it is an Alpha. Isn't it sweet? What? Let's see the front end here. Holy smokes! Definitely a one-off show car. Wow! Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, just made to the new Portola Plaza for RM Auctions. I see some cool cars over there, uh, but the real uh, bread and butter will be inside here. Just made it to RM, got the egg, beautiful one, two, one here, move forward, and we got the Aston Martins, you know what's good when Godfrey's taking a picture? Look at this presentation. Aston Martin DBR 1-1. What a beauty. Highlight of the sale. Yeah, look at this. Let's go in on this. Oh, look at that. Double overhead cam, inline six. Twin spark. Holy. The most sensuous British car ever made, I think. Oh, look at that. This guy's in here, you can see the fuel tank. The axle, wow. Hi. Let's get another look at this thing. Holy smokes. Yeah, that is really a beautiful car, holy smokes. And then to continue the Saga, we got look at these look at this row of Astons. TV4 GT and Ulster and a DB9 uh, GT2 I believe. Holy! It's found something. We're gonna go have a look. It's the Hera Hot Rod Daytona. Yeah. This is, the, this is the car that Bell Helicopters lost the opportunity to sell Mr. Hera a helicopter because it took them more time to get to uh, Lake Tahoe from Reno than it did for Bill Hera to drive there in the Daytona. Really? <laughs> Look at the rear wheels on this thing. So this thing's been modified. Yeah. And uh, that's why it's called the Hera Hot Rod. It has huge rear flares and rubber on it. Hot, hot flares, hot uh, wheels, the engine puts out 385 horsepower as opposed to 350. Wow. I think I'm going to get nothing but wind now. Right on. Yeah, Godfrey just told me that this Abarth, which was at Pebble Beach last year, was restored in Calgary by a guy in his garage. And I think he won his class. And uh, this is a real jewel. Last year I didn't get enough time to look at it, so here's a nice second look. It's a 1953 Abarth 1100 Sport. You want three quarters of a million for it, which is pretty expensive. It looks like a little toy. It doesn't really look like anything that you drive on the road. Very cool. Yeah, right, me and Godfrey just having a look at the RM Info uh, Guide. And we got this 1964 Peel. You saw it here first. 90 to 120,000 and it just so happens the car's right here uh 
I don't know. I probably could think of better ways to spend 120,000. Uh, how about an XK coupe? But no, $120,000 car has about as much horsepower as my lawnmower. Yeah, look at that. That's uh, I don't know, guys. What do you think? What do you think about that? Okay, it's Jet Center time. Let's see what they got this year. Thank you. It's late champagne dress. That is a champagne occasion today. And we've got some greeting ladies here. Hi guys, hi. I'm going with some Mercedes. Oh, isn't that nice? Okay. Can you take some pictures then? I'll video a little later. So, uh, y'all have to bear with me, guys. I'm just going to head towards the Monterey Jet Center itself here. And there's a couple really nice things inside. Um, one of the first ones is coming into view here. It's a Golf Mirage. Uh, this is really cool. It's kind of a GT40 Mirage. I don't think it's the original one, but uh, it definitely has the right shape. I don't know, they just unveiled this GT. Looks pretty nice. But inside here, there's some cool stuff. Can we adjust the light. Yeah, here we go. I have this really crazy spec E type. That is just so cool. It's a Roadster with a hardtop on it. Loving that. And then uh, we have uh, Drew Phillips here taking a picture of this Canepa BMW M1, kind of pro car kind of style. Yeah, it's like a gun flat gray. What a stunner. An XK120 in view here. Kind of got a speedster look about it in maroon. Not sure if it's alloy, but man, this has all the right looks. Have a look at this. Wow, that, that is, that's one of the nicest XK120s I've seen in a long time. Deep dish wooden steering wheel. Uh, the California Spider. Got these guys making a really good video. Oh, that's some of the aluminum over here. Holy, look at that. Oh, ouch. That's sweet Daytona coupe, bare aluminum, wonderful. Oh, let's keep this party going. Got a F12 TDF in orange, and a Porsche 918 in orange right next to that. I knew this car was gonna be here. It's kinda cool. It's a 275 GTP alloy outside filler, one of 10. One of ten. And, um, yeah, this is a 275 to own. Let's, there's the filler right there. Yeah, and this is what makes that car so special. The starburst aluminum wheels. Yeah, fantastic. Okay, here comes the Quail Rally Tour. Uh, Kaduri's son, driving the 166. I see all sorts of cool stuff coming in. Oh, we better have some more champagne for this for all day. No, you can have, you can have champagne. Here's parking them up. Beautiful. Got a 166 here. Just lining them up. Disco Volante. Whoa, mama. Very cool cars. Everybody's kind of getting out. 
Okay, well that's it. That's day one. We had a great day, saw some amazing stuff. Uh, kind of leaving the Jet Center maybe a little early, but we have to get up by 7 tomorrow. We're going to do the rally, the tour, the Tour d'Elegance, the 20th anniversary of Tour d'Elegance. There will be four Ferrari classes, so really looking forward to that. Uh, thanks for following along. See you later.